Hello everyone, I'm your hostess with the mostest, 8 Second Gaming, and today I've got another VOD review for you guys. I know a lot of people that watch this channel really like the VOD reviews because, you know, I can sit here all day long and give you guys tips, but sometimes it takes seeing them in game to really have them hit home and set in stone in your head. So today we are going to take a look at another situation that I had the other day, and I'm sure all of you have found yourselves in this at some point, one time or another but you maybe didn't know how to handle it or what to be looking for. This is when someone is being very aggressive on you, like hyper aggressive. They may have an advantage that they're pushing or they're just running straight at you. But you know, how do you handle it? Well, today I'm going to show you guys exactly how to do that. But just quickly, if you guys like these types of videos, you know, the VOD reviews and want to see more, you need to check out the Game Leap website right now. Over there, we have top level coaches creating highly educational guides to make you the best Apex player you can possibly be. So if you're looking to really start climbing Apex, click the link in the description, get your membership today and never look back. But now diving right into this VOD review, this is a game that I had on Kings Canyon the other day where I was playing Loba and Loba can have uh, a decent time in these kinds of situations because she does have a pretty decent amount of mobility. So with this, there's a wraith in this building that's trying to be very aggressive on us. She's looking for angles, she's looking to attack, but we don't want to give that to her. There also was a team somewhere behind us. They did rotate out. They were trying to restabilize after a fight that we had uh, we had just had with them. So they were looking to kind of push away from that. So we aren't quite sure where they are now, but that's just something to keep in mind for a little bit later. So with this, I do... Uh, try to look, peek out on the wraith because you want to see where they're pushing if you guys are being uh, you know, Run up on by a team. Don't be afraid to peek them Don't be afraid to look to see where they're coming from because I see a lot of people Let teams kind of be aggressive on them without really trying to establish where they are or where they're coming from If you're in this situation always be trying to look and see where this team is coming from But as I look and see this she is playing these railings and these these railings in apex Absorb more bullets than a than a Gibraltar these things are tanks and they eat bullets like crazy. So I don't want to play against these railings. So I'm looking to kind of either push the wraith away where I can rotate uh, safely away from them or make her jump off that, that spot so that I don't have to deal with those. But as I'm looking to deal with that, she does throw an arc star out. So the arc star does come here and it's, it's basically pushing me off this roof. I can either, you know, face tank it and eat the grenade but that gives her a chance to roll up on us while we're uh, healing. And I don't really want to let that happen. So I opt to jump off the roof here because I don't want to take the damage. And I'm trying to just see if there's something in there that would have helped me a little bit more. But as I do that, my teammate does go down. So when my teammate goes down, there's some things that are in my head that I'm just kind of thinking of. And you can see right here, like I basically just stop because I'm not quite sure what to do. I'm looking around. I'm trying to weigh my options see what you know options i really have and the best thing that i can come up with right here is to basically back off i see a lot of people in low elo especially that would never want to leave this spot they would try to just sit here and and play with their teammate but that's something that you can't really do in a situation like this you have to make the other person slip up you have to bring them in to make a mistake how i do that is basically making them run and over commit to something that they can't recover from so looking back here, there's this little plateau that you can play. There's you can play up here. You can play over here. You can play these grenade holds. There's so many options here that you have that you need to be aware of when you're playing in a situation like this. So I throw my bracelet to try and get back to the spot because there's a really good head glitch. And if you can play a head glitch on a person that has to run basically straight at you, then it's a very good opportunity because you can hit a lot of stuff. Now, in this situation, I don't suggest doing what I do here because this is something that I've kind of cultivated myself uh, and it's a technique that I use. It has gotten me killed a few times, but you can do something along the lines. I'll explain what I'm doing when I see this wraith here in a second. I'm basically trying to get her to feel overconfident, so I'm not really trying to hit shots at her. I'm trying to shoot her to let her know where I am, but I'm not trying to really overly damage her. Because if I get a crack on her, she's just going to hunker down and she's not going to do what I want her to do. I want to get her to be super aggressive on me. So I'm just kind of like sending shots out and I'm letting her do a lot of damage to me. Now you can see that she's basically standing still. I'm overly correcting my aim because right now I want her to feel confident. I want her to feel like I'm bad because in closer range situations, I do feel more confident than her. But in this, I'm trying to get her to really push off that building and drop onto low ground. 
because as soon as she drops onto low ground, like any time an enemy drops onto low ground, they've basically lost the fight. So if you're in a situation like this, as soon as they drop off that high ground, you've won as long as you can take that back from them. So here I'm trying to get this Wraith to really push up on me because she can't close this distance faster than I can heal. So as she does this, she drops on a low ground, she pushes the building. That's perfect for me because I can break line of sight. And when you're repositioning, always break line of sight. Don't just run. like I could run basically straight towards my teammate, but I would be able to be shot from this balcony from down here. There's so many spots that I can be shot from. So never just run straight at something. Always try to break line of sight first. So I use this grenade hold to break line of sight as much as I can. And I run to this little plateau once again to break line of sight as much as I can as I throw my bracelet and travel back. Because she's dropped off high ground, I can take this spot from her very confidently. And this is something you guys really need to be looking to do in your games. Always be trying to take high ground when you can. Because she dropped off of this, this is a hard spot to push. This is a very tough building for enemies to play against. So now you can see she is on low ground. She's at a disadvantage. I have the railings that eat all the bullets and she doesn't really have a whole lot of options to play. So because of this, now that I'm closer, I can start to hit more shots and I'm, I'm starting to really actually damage her because I can close that distance and I can't I can allow her to not heal. So I'm putting damage out and then this is why you guys always need to carry grenades. Always be carrying grenades when you can in your backpack because they're so useful in this situation. You'd be like, well, she's behind a door. There's not really a whole lot that I can do here. Uh, either I have to fully commit to that and kick that door down or uh, basically I just let her heal. Not with grenades. If you have grenades, you don't have to let people do that. So I throw this grenade in here because I'm trying to force her off that door. Luckily, the do the grenade is close enough that it blows the, the door off and I'm starting to just hit shots on her while she's standing there completely still. But I do also force her back inside and it, the other grenade blows up and it does kill her. So once again, always be carrying grenades. But the good thing about this uh, is like basically I can use somebody's hyper aggressiveness against them because I know what I'm looking for. And now you guys know what you're looking for, too. So you basically want to flip their momentum on their head as they're pushing you. They're just going to be super tunnel visioned and you can use that against them by drawing them in, making them commit to something that they can't get out of and then taking that momentum and just slamming the brakes on it and just really hammering them down. You can see that the Wraith was really, really aggressive on me. I backed up, used my movement ability to back up even further to make the race have to overcommit on something that she couldn't get back from. Once she did that, I was able to take her spot, take high ground against her, and then use that against her because she just committed onto a very bad spot. So I really hope that this helped you guys out. I really hope that this teaches you guys how to uh, get out of a situation because a lot of people find themselves stuck in these situations. If you guys like this type of video and you guys want to see more tips, tricks, news, don't forget to smash that like and subscribe button to stay up to date with all of our videos coming out. Thank you guys for watching. Once again, I made Second Gaming and I will see you in the next one.